Sometimes the simplest tips can make the biggest difference, and today's editing tip for LumaFusion is simple. But if you don't know how to do it, it's actually not simple. What am I talking about? I'm talking about doing a freeze frame, something that I do all the time. And the first time I tried to do it in LumaFusion, I could not figure it out and I had to get on Google. So this tutorial will save you from having to do the same thing. Oftentimes in editing, I need to freeze the video, whether to extend a shot or add a voiceover or graphics, that kind of thing. And in most of the editing software I've used, there's a drop down menu or you right click, you do a frame hold or you just do a freeze frame. In LumaFusion, it's different. You actually take a snapshot, which is more or less a picture of the image in the timeline. And then it uploads that picture to your camera roll. And then you re-import that still image into your edit sequence. Once it's in the edit sequence, you can extend that still image as long as you need. Again, it could be for a voiceover, the length of the voiceover, the length of a music cue. And again, once you figure out how to do this, it is easy, but getting there is not intuitive. So you got your freeze frame where you want it, you play your video back. And a seamless freeze frame. Again, a simple tip, but a valuable one, and hopefully one that'll speed up your editing while you're learning LumaFusion.